today we will make a beautiful buddha face in watercolor so that's why we have taken handmade paper and now i'm making the margin with cello tape so later we can remove it you if you don't have handmade paper at home you can take uh, normal drawing paper also from your sketch book so but watercolor is best in handmade paper if you use handmade paper then it can give you the best result now you can see that i have taken the white border in the left and right side in the top it's a normal border and for the width of the border we have taken two cylinder so now i will start drawing so we are making a beautiful buddha's face so remember one thing the buddha is the symbol of peace so the color we will use the strokes we will use it should be soft eyes is almost now I'm done with the eyes you can see since you have done with the eyes then you have to do the lips and I have taught you how to make the lips You can take reference from Google that the Buddha's face and all, or you can draw from this tutorial video. done with our drawing so just let me check and you also check that your drawing is appropriate or you have to change somewhere so then we will come again for watercolor you have to make all the color all the lines 
very light otherwise the line will be reflected after color also so we just erasing the line to make the line light so once we're done with the process so now we can take our colors and we can start painting on it so i have watercolor these are my watercolors so i will take the sap green color light uh, emerald green color and then so sap green color emerald green color and then cobalt blue and we will take a few of prussian blue and then the black and obviously we will take the white color and lemon yellow color also so we are almost done so i think we should to start our coloring now first we have to give the water wash to the paper using the sap green and the emerald green mix as the whole paper will be covered with the painting only means the buddha face only so that's why i keep the rest of the place covered with the cello cello tape so later we can remove the cello tape and we give the white background so lightly you have to draw this and then you can mix with your only plain fresh water you don't need any color to mix this then you have to remember ki where you have to use the dark shade so this is a game of light and dark so if you understand these things ki where you have to do light and where you have to shade so then you can make any kind of painting color in the different part so then again now i have to take a little bit of color and then i have to spread with the brush with no color darkest part of the drawing it's just a middle tone you can say once we're done with this water color is a very light color so that's why i say put this the symbol of peace so that's why we have to make it so in the painting should be so color i have chosen is like sea green color so the blue and the green so it will give you the effect of So now we just like this we have to cover the whole uh, face. Now I have to take the Prussian blue color for the dark part of the 
drawing later i will take the black color to give only the outline color. so now we have to mix with emerald green with the prussian blue so it gives you a dark shade with a sea green shade also so lightly you have to just put the color border and the where you need the darkest part there you can use so here you have to understand one more thing that is okay the source of light the source of is light the source of light is coming from the top right so dark shade will be over this part we have to take the water just blend with it use another brush to spread the color you have to spread on that particular moment otherwise the color will dry and it will give the lines and then your drawing will not be blend it properly wherever you need to just make the line just like the shadow part there we don't have to blend rest you have to do this blending you can take few black to make it more darker First you have to spread the color Just remember one thing that your color should be blended properly otherwise it will not look good now you can see that now I am making the dark part of the eyes the right side I have also done so here I am just showing you how to, you can do it and again this is only the like applying the color and the spreading the color this is only you have to learn So you have to spread the color. For that you have to take black, blue and green to just give them the outline and also this part it should be the black for the darkest one and then we have to take the small brush Now you have to do the eyebrow part. We are using black and the blue with the green. And 
just so turn off the application we just you have to make this thing Spread with light green color. Just spread. Once you're done with this, you have to check in where you have to make the darker or it's almost done. Forehead part. Here lightly you have to give a shape. Make it darker on the top and just try to so once you are done with it just try to blend it properly then you have to wait to make it dry and then we have to remove the cello tape. Now we have to remove the cello tape. So first we will remove this. Drawing is done. So now you can do the frame and your painting is completed. Hope you like this video. If you like it, just press the like button and share your opinion with us. Thank you. Have a nice day.